If you're a restaurant owner and are suffering, right, struggling due to COVID-19, uh, Mother's Day is coming up. So perhaps you're thinking, you, what what can you do for Mother's Day? So right now, today, I'm going to share, right, some idea of how you can get a promotion started that uh, it can help you increase the sales during these hard times. Uh, hi, my name is Leo. I do have a digital marketing agency. My company business is digitaltrack.co. Um, most of my customers are restaurants. You can definitely uh, come and, and check out my information, uh, how to get in contact with me. So for promotions, I uh, will advise, right, it, it's one day before uh, Mother's Day, so I'll, I should have got, done something like this before, uh, but I've been working on promotion for my clients. And one of the things that we noticed during this situation is that putting together packages have been great and pre-sell them. <clears throat> the reason why is a lot of people like convenience, especially for Mother's Day, right? Mother's Day don't want to be cooking. They're already being teaching. They're already being uh, cooking all this time that we they, they get close. Um, so even with the hard situation, even with people being laid off, people still like convenience <coughs> and will go out and, and, and buy pre-made packages from you if you make this. So instead of having just a full menu or instead of having a discount or anything like that, uh, put a package together, right? Something that makes sense for your business and and, and pre-sell it. It, it. it will be even better. The reason why pre-selling is because this way you will be, um, you'll know what is coming up. You'll know about how many orders you need for May 10 when Mother's Day is happening this year in 2020. That will allow you to, Concentrate your production to specific meals. You can put I don't know one or two packages, even three packages, and that will help you. Right, I already have everything in place. Uh, it will help you save costs because it's all making the same. It, it, you you can put a system in place, right, where you're making the same food. Uh, so that's something we'll be noticing with um, that that has worked during these promotions. And the best thing about it is obviously businesses that I work with. They already have a following. They already have their social media. They have people that can, we can send messages to uh, via email and via social media and obviously post it. Um, obviously, you, you'll know what your customers like. You'll know your restaurant. You'll know what sort of packages you can put together. But definitely just simply search on Google Family Meal Packages for Mother's Day and just go through them. See what, what are some of the things that other restaurants are doing that may be similar to the items that you may have in place or just to give you some new ideas. And then things that you can do is that definitely, right, you have to promote it. Um, yes, you can put some money behind it, but also you don't, you, you can just put a little money behind it uh, depending when you're starting. Like I say, right, I'm making this video a day before Mother's Day, so that's my bad. I should have shared some information like this before. But uh, some things that you can do to get promoted uh, free and pay one is uh, a couple of free one is obviously you gotta have your Google My Business account. Google My Business is what allows you to have your business listed on Google so that when somebody's looking for your, your restaurant uh, or for similar restaurants to yours, that yours is on the list, right? So for example, if I want to go search for El Caracol Mexican Restaurant, which is a restaurant in Vacaville, this profile it's what people will be able to find and people will be able to find information by my uh, business like the address the phone number operation hours keep all this information up to date and when people go in here uh you can post things like in social media when you, you can post events for example so with people looking at your information they'll see that you have something special going on okay so this is something else that people can see um Leverage uh, Yelp, right? It, it's free. You'll, they'll use the paid version if you don't want to. Just ignore them if they keep calling you. Um, use the free version. The free version still offers you a lot, especially right now. They have um, support. Uh, they have uh, upgrades for free. Like, for example, you can uh, do posts like in social media, let, telling people what if you have any events coming up, if you have any special deals, if you just have an update to provide, right? And, and then here's an example of providing an update. Um, you can put messages related to COVID-19, etc. Uh, also, you can leverage Facebook events, right? Go to your Facebook page. If you don't have one, make sure to create a Facebook page. But the reason why is because they're public. Even if you, um, not that, um, if you don't do much information into it, you're not that active in it. I would recommend, obviously, to be active and, and to be answering to your customers. 
uh, definitely leverage it, right? There's events you can put in there, okay? So for example, here we have events uh, of businesses coming up uh, in a lot of Mother's uh, Day special. This one, Gordito's Cantina, right? A restaurant, Calico Mexican restaurant, those altos, all those put their events. And so um, that will show up on, on news feed of people that follow your page. So definitely take advantage of those. That's another free way to promote your business. And obviously post your events, post pictures of your, about your events, keep sharing that information with groups, local groups, with your uh, people that you may know. And then other free uh, locations where you can share it. Um, uh, the, that, those are four about free. Uh, if you have any other uh, ideas on how to you know, promote this for free, let us know. Obviously with paid version, the way we go about it is that we have a um, data of people that follow that, 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 that visit our website. We have data of people that follow our Facebook page um, or Instagram page uh, for the restaurant, the business that we work with. And so we leverage that data. That those are people that we then really like us, know us, and trust us. And so what we do, we focus the advertising uh, for any, anything that may be happening just to show to those people that are uh, already customers or that know us, like us, and trust us, right? So, because those are the ones that we want to get to come back since they already uh, know us and, and like us and trust us. So, um, it's called remarketing and very simple. Um, the best thing to do is just go to uh, Business Manager, create your Business Manager account on Facebook. And obviously, with this, it's something that you, you should get started earlier. Uh, if you want to start right now, you don't have a, what is called an audience, right? You don't have that. So um, for you, it's just a matter of starting earlier. Uh, right now, it may be too late, but, but go ahead and start so that when next thing happens, you already prepare. You already have a, a, an online following, which is what nowadays you, you want to do, right? You want to have your offline following. You want to have your usual where they find you. They already know you, so they come to you. They and, and they are, they see you in the newspapers, etc. But you want to have to have your online following. There's a big um, opportunity that you're missing um, if you're not online. So make sure to get online. Make sure to advertise. Uh, uh, you know, according to your budget. Obviously, if it's it, you, you, you do what you can according to your budget. Okay. If, if you don't have the budget for it, well, you gotta you gotta somehow get your exposure out there. Uh, there's a lot of there's some free tactics that I already mentioned, right? Uh, but also, if you do have the budget, um, invest in it. That's just part of doing business. All right, that's all for now. If you are a business owner, uh, restaurant owner, and would like to increase the online presence of your business, you know you don't have any of the pages that I just mentioned, and you need help with that, or you need help just to simply um, getting them. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? optimize right so that more local customers can find you what i'm doing right now is helping five business at a time for free right but what i'm doing is basically helping businesses that do not have this site and do not have a website at all uh they want to increase their online presence or they do have they may have a go my business they do have a, a yelp they do might have a facebook but they want they would like me to help them with the optimizing for uh increase visibility local visibility uh that's what i'm doing right for free all you have to do is simply Come to my website, find my phone number, call me or text me, or if you go to the bottom, you can email me or find links to my social media and just send me a message. Hey, Leo, would like to know more about that free offer you have going on, right, uh, to help uh, local businesses set up their profiles and Yelp, Google, etc. So uh, we'll, we'll sit down and talk about it, see if I can help you. A brand new business, uh, unfortunately, I cannot work with. The, if you do not have information about features, logo, wh who your customer base is, unfortunately, I cannot help you. But if you are a business that I have customers that have been in existence for some time, you already know your product services, you already know your customers, uh, something I can help you with. All right, have a good one.